Hello, I hope you're having an awesome day. A good nerve Shabbos. This week's Torah portion is Parshat Chaye Sarah, which is the life of Sarah. We read about Sarah's passing and her burial in the tomb of Machpelah, in the cave of Machpelah in Hebron by Abraham, her husband. And in fact, it's the first acquisition ever made in the land of Israel. And it's brought down in the Torah. And the rabbis tell us that Abraham refused when Abraham came to Ephron who owned it the guy said Abraham you're such a prince I'll give it to you as a gift and Abraham refused to take it as a gift because Abraham wanted to put down roots and he wanted his right to the land to be in a contract and indispute, undisputable that he bought this land and that he owns the land in Hebron and it always makes me think because Abraham understood that throughout the history of the world, the nations of the world will always question the right of the Jewish people to live in the land of Israel. And therefore Abraham said, listen, he could have got it for free. 400 gold coins, what Abraham paid for the cave of Machpelah was a lot of money back then. But Abraham refused because Abraham wanted to have a contract that's undisputable. And that's been our story ever since. You listen to all the people that talk from the river to the sea, all the people that say they're worried about Palestinian rights, etc., etc. And then you tell these people, but one second, you're worried about a Palestinian state. They were offered a Palestinian state seven times by the Balfour in 1948, in 1967, by, by old Omer, by old Barak in 2000 and 2008. We offered them a Palestinian state, they never wanted it. What are you talking about? And finally, you get to realize that they don't worry about a Palestinian state. They just don't want Jews in Israel. And they don't want us to have the right to the state of Israel, to the land of Israel that God gave us 3,800 years ago, promised it to Abraham. And we're in this week's Torah portion, we read about the first acquisition of land where Abraham buys a land in a, a, a plot in the city of Hebron. And by the way, every single year on this Shabbat, there's a huge celebration in Hebron where 30,000 Jews, 30,000 Jews come to spend the Shabbat celebrating that first connection of the Jewish people to the land of Israel. And unfortunately this year, it's not going to happen due to the war and due to the circumstance, they had to postpone it. Because in order to facilitate that, they would need a lot of military and a lot of police and unfortunately, they need them everywhere else. So this year, there won't be that celebration of Hebron. But that doesn't mean that we're not celebrating that acquisition. And that doesn't mean that we don't cherish the gift that God gave Abraham in a land that's ours. That is undisputable. No matter what college kids say or what people on TV say, the land is ours. It's a gift from God. And with all the sadness and all the trials of all those who hate us there's always so much positivity and I saw a story in the news about this soldier who on the day of the black Shabbat as they call it he was him and his I think it was a Givati brigade who were experts they were called to Nachal Oz which is on the border of Gaza and they fought for two days and then he was split up from his group to Kfar Aza, which is right next to the border, and he fought for two days. And after he fought, the soldier came to the, the judicial rabbinic court of the army. He was supposed to convert, and he was studying for 10 months to convert. And he came, after those two days, he had a meeting, and he asked them to please expedite his conversion process. And the judges sat, and they looked, and they saw that he's done everything right. And then they gave him a chance to speak why he wanted his conversion expedited. And he got up and he started speaking. And he burst out crying. And he basically said that for two days I fought. And after what I saw, I'm scared when I go back to war, who knows if I might make it. Maybe I might die for my country, but I want to die as a Jew. And I want to be able to be Jewish. And the judges heard this and they all started sobbing. Here's a guy who's asking to become a Jew in the hardest of times, who's just asking us to expedite his conversion because he wants to go fight for his country and in case he doesn't make it, he wants to die as a Jew. 
what a remarkable human being. And in fact, if you read about it, there's been many more requests for conversion in Israel from these soldiers because they want to be Jewish. God gave us this land 3,800 years ago. Abraham bought the first piece of plot in this week's Torah portion. It's ours eternally. We will never give it up. We're proud of it. We celebrate it. And we celebrate the love and the remarkable heroic human beings who embrace Judaism, God, and the gift of Israel to the Jewish people. Have a Shabbat Shalom.